All right, welcome back, sports fans. Glad you came back to join us here in Across the Line. Chris Corey, and we're going to get ready to talk about one of my favorite events of the year, New Brunswick Sports Hall of Fame coming up June 17th at the Curry Center in Fredericton. Going to be a great event. Going to be held in person this year. Obviously, last year due to COVID, uh, sort of held virtually. So back in the Curry Center uh, in person and very pleased to be joined by one of this year's inductees from St. John going in in the boxer category, Ed Blanchard. Ed, how you doing? It's not bad, Chris. Thanks for having me. Well, pleasure to speak with you, and uh, always great to be able to chat a bit of boxing here. Obviously, we just had Brandon Brewer on here a couple weeks ago. He was uh, going nice. up to Ontario here in a big fight, but uh, a wealth of knowledge here uh, on your half uh, with what you've experienced here in the, in the boxing world, you know, uh, going in as an official. Obviously, you boxed yourself. Maybe tell us a little bit about the experiences you've been able to uh, uh, enjoy here through the great sport of boxing. Uh, boxing is a very great sport. It's a, it's a sport I got into when I was about 15 or 16, and it stuck with me. Um, when I was done with uh, competitive sport, uh, boxing, mm -hmm. uh, because of medical reasons, uh, I had two choices. I could either become a coach or I could be a, uh, an official, or I could get away from it. And yeah. I wasn't going to get away from it. So <laughs> I... Uh, I get into the officiating, and uh, everything's been uh, gravy since then. It's been a nice ride. Well, you have obviously accomplished quite a bit, both inside the ring, uh, in person, and as an official. 16 international, um, uh, uh, I guess, national competitions, 75 na Canadian national titles uh, that you've officiated, uh, six Canada Games. Maybe walk us through some of the larger events that you've uh, been able to officiate here in your career. Uh, I think the the first big uh, event that I did uh, was my world championships in Budapest, Hungary. Wow. Uh, I traveled over there with, um, <clears throat> who is now Canadian, he's, um, no, he's world, I'm sorry, he's world uh, light heavyweight champion, Jean Pascal was on the team. Mm -hmm. So it was a star-studded team, and um, from there I've went um, pretty much all over the world. It's it's been great. I've seen parts of the world that I, you know, I went to Siberia. I, who who chooses to go for Siberia for 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 a trip? You know. Um, I just saw Rocky and, versus Drago and Rocky IV. That's the only match I've seen in Siberia. <laughs> that's yeah. That's exactly what I thought of when I was going there. It, yeah. Uh, it, and it was an experience. It was it was very cold and. It was an experience. Let's just well, not go any further than that. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's, it would be memorable because it would certainly be different <laughs> and an experience in itself oh, to, yes. uh, uh, to be able to, yeah. to take part in that. So, you know, the amount of championships you've competed in, you've seen some top-level talent. Who are some of the fighters that sort of stick out in your mind that you've been able to officiate and, uh, and, and watch? Some of the top. I, th I think the top, so as far as boxing skill goes, um, it's, it's not a huge name. He didn't turn pro. Was um, Mike Strange from Ontario? Okay. He was ten-time Canadian champion, three-time Olympian, and uh, he, he was just a great boxer. I had the privilege of uh, refereeing him, and you may know this name, but uh, Arturo Gaddy's last amateur fight. Gotcha. So the two of them. Uh, you know, they fought, and it was Arturo's last amateur fight before he turned pro. Gotcha. That's... Yeah, and, uh, you know, I've had uh, some, some big names now. I never um, refereed, but I was uh, there to judge at, uh, you know, Lennox Lewis when he was uh, at uh, the end of his amateur career. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, all the Wilcox brothers uh, up in Ontario. And, you know, when I started, and when I first started refereeing, it was, it was males only, and then uh, slowly the females started coming in, and look at these uh, these females come to fight. Yeah. Some of them are, uh, if they could physically uh, compete with the males, technically they're uh, they're just as good, if not better, than some of these male boxers. They certainly put in the work. Do you see more and more females oh. coming in, even to uh, boxing clubs in uh, in your area in St. John? Oh, most definitely. Um, yeah. We have uh, one girl here from St. John, um, Charlie Cavanaugh. I don't know whether you've heard of her. She won. Uh, she was the first um, 
Canadian to win a world championship at the youth championships. Wow. She was over in Budapest, Hungary, and uh, she won a world championships, and she just won a bronze down at the Continental Championships, uh, St. John Girl. And a lot of the young girls uh, come into our club. They look up to her, and uh, it's attracted a lot of girls to the club and yeah. to all clubs. All clubs, it's – before you would walk into a club and you wouldn't see any girls. <laughs> now yeah. it's, uh, it's a good mixture, you know. Yeah. And like you said, just and having... it's broken the stigma. A lot of girls come down just to work out. They don't, not necessarily to uh, to compete. They just come down because they love the workout. Yeah, it, it's a, like you said, it's a great sport. It's a great activity, as you know, as opposed to going to the gym for an hour and a half. You go to the, you know, the the boxing gym, and you know, it's hard to replicate that workout uh, high intensity. Oh, there, there's nothing like it. I mean. We've had girls uh, come down that used to teach aerobics, and they just love. They can't get enough of our sport. Yeah. You know, they say this is nothing like what we do. They couldn't keep up. Yeah. Well, it's uh, like you said, boxing had been such a big sport, almost going through a bit of a renaissance here. But, you know, back in the day, they said it was always, you know, boxing, baseball, and horse racing, uh, you know, at the turn of the century. But uh, uh, it's had its ups and downs. But like you said, you've seen... A number of, of great champions here uh, in your in your career. Maybe talk a little bit about the state of boxing, maybe in New Brunswick, uh, where you're based out of uh, St. John, and what uh, what you see coming out through uh, through the province. Well, through the province, we're we're just making a resurgence now. Is of course, like every other sport, with the COVID, yeah. <laughs> we took a downswing, and uh, there was no competitions, no nothing, for two years. It was hard. It was hard to keep people in practicing and uh, no competition. Who, wa who wants to practice hockey and not have a game? <laughs> who wants you to know? train for two years? You can years only and keep the kids practicing. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, it, it's been hard. We, I find it uh, is coming up now. Uh, yeah. Our numbers for registration this year are coming up compared to the last couple of years. You know, we've had a few clubs that have struggled, and uh, now their registrations are coming up, and uh, we have some competitions coming up, one in Oromocto in May. And uh, I've, I've heard from other people the inquiring. They want to put uh, competitions on soon. Excellent. Yeah, and, and like I said, I mean, Oromocto, you know, uh, Army-based military, uh, you know, town. There's, uh, there's some guys that can throw them in, in Oromocto, so uh, a, great, uh, a great venue there to, uh, to hold a uh, card for a few matches. Um, maybe tell us a little bit about, obviously, the big event coming up here in June, uh, the New Brunswick Sports Hall of Fame, and uh, your induction ceremony coming up and what that sort of means uh, to yourself and uh, family and, and the sport, uh, being inducted for your work in, in the sport of boxing. Well, it, uh, it's, it's a fairly big thing. You know, um, a friend of mine, uh, he put my name forward. And I never dreamed that I would get in. Just, you know, I looked at the names of the people that had been there before me. And uh, I didn't see myself up there. But uh, they seen that, uh, you know, I deserve to be on the wall with the rest of them. And first off, I'd like to uh, take to congratulate the rest of the uh, inductees that uh, are going to be in on June 17th with me. And... Um, it means a lot for my, my family. The family is very involved. Kids at a young age started traveling with me. Yep. If they wanted to see their dad, they on the weekends with me. <laughs> uh, my son is a Joe Blant. He's, um, he's an international level coach, and he's the coach of Charlie Cavanaugh, the world champion. Mm-hmm. And my daughter is a national level judge. She judges at uh, the Canadian Championships. Yeah, so it's a it's a it's a big family affair, yeah. and they were they were really pleased to see me get in, and uh, they're excited to go up and support me when I uh, when I do get up and get up and say my two words. Well, there you have it. A big thank you to our guests this week. Looking forward to next week as well. Going to continue on with some New Brunswick Sports Hall of Fame. Can't wait. Major League Baseball on the go. Hockey playoffs getting there. 
Going to be another great show next week. We'll see you then right here on Rogers TV.